it is important to relieve this obstruction and re-establish the flow of bile. To achieve this effectively and quickly without subjecting the patient through a major surgery, we perform a procedure called endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography also called as ERCP. In this procedure, a special scope is used. Prior to inserting the scope into the patient's mouth, the patient is sedated. The scope is then advanced into the stomach and beyond the stomach into the duodenum. In the duodenum, the tiny orifice through which the bile duct drains into the duodenum is identified. And then a long thin tube is used which is passed through the channel of the scope and this orifice entered. A dye that can be visualized by x-rays is then injected into the bile duct. While the dye is being injected, x-ray is being taken through a procedure called as fluoroscopy so that we have real-time images. The dye will give us a good road map of the pancreatic duct and the bile duct and will also give us the location and the length of the bile duct obstruction. If the diagnosis is uncertain, we can take a special device and put it into the bile duct and take some scrapings from the site of obstruction to make a diagnosis. Once this is done, a tiny wire, which is a long wire passed through the endoscope is passed across the area of obstruction and over the wire a hollow tube is pushed through the scope across this area of narrowing to re-establish bile flow. This tube is called a stent. ERCP procedure is fairly safe. We can perform it as an outpatient procedure which means the patient can go home the same day and it can also be combined with looking at the pancreatic duct and if there is a stricture in the pancreatic duct, we can stent it if the patient is complaining of severe back pain or has pancreatitis. Otherwise, it is not required to stent the pancreatic duct because the consequences of pancreatic duct obstruction are not as severe as with bile duct obstruction.